Hey guys, Will here with Into Mobile. We're taking a look at the Motorola Droid X for Verizon. This guy is Motorola Droid X, and this guy is running. Check it out. What is that? That is a new lock screen. The lock screen that you get with Android 2.2 Froyo. So, when you try to unlock it, it actually turns in. You got the X in the background, first of all, but when you unlock it, you get that little bar. Oops, turned off on me. You get that little bar that goes across, letting you know that you have to fill it to unlock, or to mute it, you want to go all the way and fill up that bar. So, unlock, bam just like that. Oh, actually if you guys didn't see that, um, when you mute it you get a little notification sound is off. When you go all the way, sound is on. Okay, good. So unlock. Bam! Home screen. There we go. So we have Quadrant Limb Pack which we use to benchmark this guy. Um, Droid X with 2.2 with Android 2.2 otherwise known as Froyo actually managed to beat the Nexus 1 with Froyo. One of the first changes you'll notice is, check it out, right on the home screen you have VZ Navigator. This is Verizon's uh, GPS navigation service, 10 bucks a month. Um, not sure why it's on the home screen because, uh, of course, with uh, Google Maps here, where where is it? It's right there. With Google Maps there, you have um, GPS navigation built right in. So strange that that would be on the home screen, but it kind of does make sense. Actually, it makes dollars and cents because Verizon can, can make more money off their $10 a month navigation service than Google's free navigation service. If you check out the uh, home screen, it's basically everything we we're used to with the motor blur, very light uh, UI tweaks here. Uh, you have the toggle buttons to access radio communications, your weather uh, widget, of course, 3G mobile hotspot, which is not part of Froyo. This is actually not the native uh, Wi-Fi hotspot feature in Froyo, but actually Verizon's own uh, 3G mobile hotspot uh, feature. Maps, of course, Verizon My Account, um, shortcuts to apps down here, a couple widgets for calendar and your Google search and uh, messages, that stuff. Going to the right, you have your contact shortcuts. Now these are the Google widgets, okay? These are Google toggles for your radio communications, refresh, and uh, and your um, your screen brightness. Whereas on this side, you have, these are the modal blur toggles. These are the ones that come with the Droid X, so. Um, and of course, your gallery widget, your playlist widget here, these, everything is pretty much the same. Most of this stuff is pretty much uh, what we seen on the Droid X with the with the 2.1 Android 2.1 Eclair ROM that it ships with. Um, so what's different? Not is it on, not only is it this that's different. If you go into your market to Android Market, you'll find a few of the differences by uh, going to Menu and actually going to Downloads and taking a look at the apps that you have installed. If you go there you have this option right here, check this out, allow automatic updating. So as soon as there's an automatic, as an upload, uh, sorry, allow automatic updating, as soon as there's an update available for this Android app, in this case, Advanced Task Killer, um, Android 2.2 Froyo will automatically update it without you having to be like, sure, update this one, update this one. You do have to go through all of them, and uh, as long as they're compatible, you have to check the box to manually update them. But this is a one-time one thing, right? If if uh, w once you do this and go through your entire list of apps and you click automatically update, as soon as there's an update available, Android will update it for you automatically without you having to tell it to do so. So that is an awesome feature that's in Android Market. Um, what else? Well, you go to Settings and you're going to go to Applications where there it is. You go to Applications and one cool thing that you'll see with Froyo is look at this. You have a new Applications Manager here. So you see all your apps. These are what? These are all your downloaded apps. You can see your running apps, like so. You can see all your apps, like so. And you can see what apps are on the SD card. So that is new too. Not only are these tabs new, these ma uh, application management tabs new, but the ability to ha store your apps on the SD card, that is new. So what does that allow you to do? Well, it allows you to say store your apps to the storage card. So um, that's a new option as well. You can move your app to the SD card and free up you know, native storage so you don't take up too much on-device storage. You can store it on your SD card so you get almost limitless storage, you see. Um, you can do that with all apps that are compatible, so move to SD card right there. Um, you see that option, it's kind of grayed out right there. But uh, the option is available and it's a cool option. Okay, what else? Another quick uh, look at the gallery app should show us that the gallery app has been updated as well. 
If I can find it, there it is, A, B, C, D, F, G, there we go. Now, it's not scrolling, you're not immediately uh, inside a scroll list, you're actually, uh, these are neat little piles with uh, your photos kind of uh, organized into neat little piles there, and check it out. These are a couple photos from today. I don't know if you can see here, but the, I'm not sure if these thumbnails look a little down derezzed, but we'll go into full view. Pretty good. So the thumbnails may be derezzed, but as you can see, the regular pictures are quite, quite good. I mean, the full-size pictures are quite, quite good. And a little video, just so you guys can see. Okay. So that's that. That's the gallery application. See, notice how it's updated with, with the way it is in either landscape or portrait view. They're organized into neat little piles here, so pretty cool. Organized into camera roll, my tags, folders, all photos, videos. Okay, and you can go directly to the camera by hitting that button, and bam, you're here. Now here's, that takes me to the other thing that's updated. Notice what's updated here. You get, um, these look a little different. These notification tags up here, you know, your geotag, your photo, how many pictures left. Um, your shutter button is up here. You could take it, oh, well, we're taking a picture of nothing. Why don't we take a picture of something? Let's, uh, well, okay. Let's take a picture of that. So, you could take it by pushing the on-screen shutter button, of course. Nice little, notice uh, that might have sounded loud to you guys. Notifications on the uh, volume, some volume has uh, been increased on the Droid X, courtesy of Motorola. Or, you could take a picture either by hit, holding this shutter button down, oops, or by hitting the red shutter key, right? So, I'm going to I'm gonna half press to focus, full press. Okay, see what I did there? Half, pre half press to focus, full press to take the picture. And, what else? So, you have your little uh, notification or your uh, preview window right there. That's not new. What is new, though, is if you, well, you can also tap to focus like that, you know, drag your focus reticle. But what's new here, check that out. An easily accessible uh, um, options. You got scenes here. You could as before, you scroll through your different scene selections. You've got your effects. You can scroll through your different effects. We're just going to go right back to normal stock. You can also access flash settings real on the quick. You know, also switch to this uh, video camera or switch back to your regular camera. And hitting the settings button, this I mean the menu button right here, brings up more options like picture modes, tags, settings, all that good stuff. Okay, those are the same. What's new is uh, the way this comes out on the right there. So, pretty cool. Those are cool changes. Um, what else are we looking at here? We also have uh, an update to the battery manager. And that, you'll oh, let's put it in this format so I can read it better. Uh, to the battery manager, um, so it looks different. Okay, you get that cool icon, very cool. Battery mode, you're on, uh, there's there's a new battery mode. Uh, there's nighttime saver, so dur normal operation during the day, battery saver at night, which makes sense, maximum battery saver, performance mode, and a custom battery saver mode. So you can actually customize the way you manage your battery by uh, powering down your radios, adjusting screen brightness, and uh, uh, all that good stuff. So, that is a quick look at the Motorola Droid X with none other than the Android 2.2 Froyo ROM.